the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? TTR from Tokyo. Diamonds whipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a fully glow. Diamonds wanna go. Hello, guys, this is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showcasing on how to install this little plugin, which will allow us to basically use any USB flash drive or thumbstick and make that as our primary uh, memory card for our PlayStation TV. Many of you guys know about the SD to Vita. Uh, basically the adapter for it and that will allow users to basically to use SD cards instead of memory cards for your PlayStation Vita um because look I'll show you here right now if I go to eBay I just you know wanted to use this for example just for a 16 gigabyte uh, memory card it's $40 and that's outrageous and this is we're in 2019 and it's still expensive so if you really wanted uh, you know to buy one of these cards you're gonna chug out a lot of money but with that being stated, um, I'm going to get into the main process and always like I like to state any um, download or excuse me, any programs I'll use in this video will be in the description below. And I also have download links as well. So what you need for this process is, of course, a modded PlayStation TV. I'm using mine that is on Hancock 3.60. Uh, I think either 3.60 or 3.65. I'm not too sure because I really don't play my PlayStation TV that much. But as long as you have Hankaku from versions 3.60 to 3.68, you could be doing this uh, method as well. What you also need for this process is a USB thumb drive that is formatted to either FAT32 or XFAT. I do recommend the XFAT. Um, you format your guys to XFAT instead of FAT32, just since if you do have, you know, games that are over four gigabytes in size. I'm not too sure if there's many Vita games that has uh, that in size in particular, since most of those files are not even in ISOs, but it's just, you know, a better format. And I know that I, um, though when you go transfer files over via XFAT, it's faster than FAT32. And also what you will need for this process is any FTP client. And also for this case, I'm gonna be using FileZilla right here. And then we'll also need this TFN card plugin. And with this little plugin right here, this is where all the magic is really gonna work. This allows us to basically make our U or basically any USB our flash drive or basically our primary flash drive, excuse me. So once you have, you know, a modded PlayStation TV, your USB of your choice, and this plugin, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and plug in our USB of choice into our PS, our, excuse me, our PC. And I'll show you right here right quick if I can find mine. I have a lot of files open right now. There go, mine's right there since I named my uh, USB drive to PS TV. If you could just go to properties, guys, right here real quick. What you want to do is make sure if your file system states that it's not on NTFS, but it's either FAT32 or XFAT. But I, like I said before, I do recommend y'all guys going on XFAT. What you want to do if your thing doesn't say it or basically doesn't state that the file system is on XFAT, excuse me. What you want to do is go ahead and right click, go up to format, and then from here, you could just go ahead and toggle over. For example, mine's is XFAT right here. For your allocation unit size, you can just either use default allocation size or whatever your PC states. You can just hit default allocation size. And then for volume label, that's basically just a label of like what's the USB name. You can name it anything. And then for quick format, you can just go ahead and toggle this and then hit start. And then once you go ahead and hit OK, make sure you have everything backed up. So what I mean by that is if you have any important files or if you have any important documents on your or basically on a USB drive, go ahead and back it up to another USB drive or to your PC because anytime when you format a USB drive, and this is just the general rule of thumb when formatting hard drive, or excuse me, hard drives, you will lose that information. Assuming that your guys are on XFAT now and you did that process by hitting OK, what you want to do now is go ahead back to your PlayStation TV and boot up FileZilla as well from your PC. And then I'll explain in a little minute. Also, what you need for this process as well is Vita Shell for your um, basically your modded PlayStation TV. If you don't know how to install Vita Shell, it's very easy and most of the time if you use H Encore or Molecular Shell, you should already basically have it. But assuming that you guys already have Vita Shell, what you want to do is just go ahead and leave FileZilla up for right now and I'll show you what the, on the PlayStation TV what steps you need to do to basically port our IP over. So I'll meet you guys back onto the PS TV. 
All right guys, so what you wanna do now once you're back onto your PlayStation TV, you wanna go ahead and boot up into Vita Shell just by clicking X over your, you know, the actual program. I have a link in the description below for the latest version of Vita Shell as well. But now what you wanna do is just go ahead and make sure your Wi-Fi is on, of course. Go ahead and select. And now what Vita Shell should do is basically broadcast an FTP server and then state your IP address along with the port. So just go ahead and either write it down or just keep your um TV on, on the screen so you'll just remember your IP and now what we want to do is go ahead and run back to the PC and then type that IP in FileZilla and then I'll tell you the rest of or the remaining steps that we have to accomplish for this video so meet you guys back on the PC all right guys so since we're on the PC now what you want to do is go ahead and open up FileZilla and then what you want to do now is by looking into Vita Shell and making sure that your FTP server is running go ahead and type the IP that is shown for you for y'all guys mine will be different so in my case mine is 10.0.032 and then my port is 1337 everyone's port should be this and then go ahead and quick connect it's very important that you um type in your port or you'll get an error if you do get this insecure uh, FTP connection error just go ahead and hit ok it really doesn't matter and then you should see all your directories so the first step what you want to go ahead and do is take your TF card plugin VPK and just drag and drop it to UX0 I'm just gonna go ahead and overwrite since I already had this file previously. And if I go score here, I should say successful. And then now what we wanna do is go ahead and focus into UX0. If you guys don't know what UX0 is, it's basically just your internal memory in case if you're on your PSTV or on a PlayStation 2000, but or it's just basically your memory card. That's the easiest way I could state it. Um, also, what we wanna do now is go ahead and drag and drop or basically copy everything so you could just go ahead and drag or just hit control a on your keyboard and now what we want to do is find our memory card or excuse me not our memory card our USB drive so the one that we just formatted to XFAT what we want to do now is drag all the contents from your X0 and then just drop it to PS TV or basically our USB of choice so now what we want to do is just let that do its thing depending on how long it may take is depending on how much uh, games and how much files you have on your actual memory card at hand so let's say if you had a four gigabyte memory card um it will have you know that certain amount of like games if you had like a 16 gigabyte memory card and you wanted to use a 64 gigabyte usb um basically depending on how much files that depends on the transfer size so in this case mine shouldn't take too long because i have no games and i basically have no files on my PlayStation TV since I don't use it as much but once the process is done as shown here you should get like a little notification that says all your files has been transferred successfully over now what we want to do is go ahead and just verify that our files are all on to our USB of choice make sure to go ahead and hit X and then right here what you want to do is go ahead and safely eject out from your USB drive and then what we're going to do is go ahead and take our USB drive from our PC to our PlayStation TV, plug it in, and then I'll show you the steps what we need to do. And basically, we just got to run the uh, TF card plugin and get that installed as well. So I'll meet you guys back on the PlayStation TV, and I'll show you the last steps to this video. So I'll meet you guys there. Okay guys, so assuming that y'all are still in Vita Shell, what you can do now is just close out the FTP server, go ahead and hit circle. And then what we want to go to now is UX0, aka our memory card. Scroll all the way down, and then basically we're going to find for our TF card plugin tool. Just go ahead and hit X, and what it's going to do is basically install the package. Go ahead and make sure um, that you have unsafe homebrew and Hankaku settings before doing this, or you wouldn't even be able to install um, unsigned VPKs and stuff like that. But once that process is done, what we're going to do is back out of Vita Shell and then boot into the program. So it's done for me right now so just go ahead and hit the playstation button if you're using your ps3 controller or ps4 controller of that matter and now what you should do is go ahead and hit tf card plugin tool and this is the english version as well and now basically um to make it a little easier on instead of hitting x to like confirm and select buttons it's kind of like playing a japanese game you would have to hit circle so for example as you see here sd to vita equals um a zero or um a zero that's basically like a secondary memory card if you're doing a vita and then of course sd to vita equals ux zero that's basically just making your uh, sd to vita as your main memory card but in this case we're using our pstv so we're going to turn our usb as our main um 
you know our main memory card and it only states that it's for PSTV do not try this on a Vita I'm not responsible if you do break it if you do accidentally you know uh, choose that option but what you want to do now is go ahead and hit circle and then from there what you want to do is go ahead and hit circle again and then just circle again just to say yes and now what it should do is basically reboot your Vita I guess the recording did end right there so basically um once your v TV excuse me has restarted what you want to do is go ahead and go into Vita shell excuse me I'm meant to click Vita shell but what you want to do now is verify that your USB is you know running so for example here if you guys remember early in the video my thing only stated that I only have 1.50 gigabytes or something like that but now as shown here since I'm using a 64 gigabyte or a, yeah 64 gigabyte XFAT um, flash drive now I have 58 gigabytes to use on my PlayStation TV if you guys did enjoy this tutorial and you do like my video tutorials and you want more of them make sure to you know let me know in the comment section down below if you guys just want to subscribe to my channel I do have many tutorials for the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, and also for a lot of PlayStation 2 stuff. Uh, but with that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate all of you. Peace.